Line Mohammed, the Minister of Information and Culture, says President Mohamed Buhari has put Nigeria on an irreversible road to sustainable development in the past one year of his re-election. Re the minister, who made the call at a news conference on Friday in Abuja to mark the first anniversary of the second term, he said that the past one year had been momentous, adding that never in the history of Nigeria had so many positive steps been taken in short time. To analyze these, we have David Hundenyi, social commentator, joining us live. Thank you, David, for joining us on the news. I'm great, thank you. Thank you for joining us, and how are you doing tonight? I'm fantastic. In your view, how well has the Buhari administration fared? <laughs> well, um, for the past one year, I don't think they've actually done enough to be scored. So if this was an exam, I'd, I'd break them ungraded because we really just haven't seen enough of them to be able to grade anything particularly good or bad, in my opinion. Now, which positive areas would you say this government has excelled in? Uh, none. None. Uh, the, one, the one thing I would say, the one fairly positive thing, which I think it'd be unfair to not mention, is um, the new Lagos State Garden Railway, uh, Standard Gauge Railway, which is on the verge of completion. Um, I know obviously this is a multi-government project, but at least, you know, for the fact that someone actually seemed to follow through on that one and, you know, through, through to completion. So that, that seems to be something worth mentioning. But aside from that, to be perfectly honest, I do not see anything worth shouting out for. Now, let's, let's talk about chances and possibility of what you think can be done differently and improved upon by the administration of President Mahmoud Buhari. Right. Uh, well, to be, to be fair, most of uh, goodwill has already been squandered. Uh, going forward, in the main two or three years that it has left, I think the best thing that, that they could do at this point would be to sort of do some things to sort of clean up their own mess. The chief of which, chief of which would be trying to sort out the debt, uh, the, the, the debt stroke revenue crisis which they have going on. Because as we all know, Nigeria has both a debt crisis and a revenue crisis, which, uh, which all happens you know, to be going on at the worst possible time, at a time of depressed global commodity prices and the coronavirus epidemic, pandemic. Uh, the first thing they would need to do, in my opinion, to try to get some sort of good record going over the next two to three years is to figure out how to fix Nigeria's trade uh, issue. So the first thing they would need to do would be to reverse some policies like uh, closing the border, for example. So they need to reopen the border and they need to find other ways of uh, accelerating and sparking international trade and exports to try to boost Nigeria's revenue profile. Uh, they need to find a way to stop borrowing as much as they've been doing, which obviously isn't going to help anyone in the long run. And going beyond that, I think they would also need, from a political point of view, they need to find a way to uh, fix some of the things that they've done wrong. So, for example, the, uh, the, ju the judiciary has been tampered with significantly. That, that would need to be fixed. The, uh, the separation of powers between the, the executive and, and the legislature, that appears to have been uh, rubbed off somewhat. That also needs to be fixed. So ultimately, I think the only thing, <laughs> the only things that will be that will be done going forward over the next two to three years that could sort of give them some kind of uh, positive record after the administration will be stuff that will fix their own mistakes. David, it's been a pleasure having you join us on the news, and, and thank you for your time. No problem. Thank you.